Look at that. Ha ha ha. There it is. <laughs> This channel is made possible in part by Morning Fame, smarter analytics to simplify YouTube growth. Use the link on your screen right now to get your first month free. And by TubeBuddy, your best friend on the road to YouTube success. Use the affiliate link on your screen to sign up today. Okay, get this thing started. We're going to use everybody's favorite distro, RetroPie, uh, and go ahead and download that right there. Now this whole thing is going to be pretty similar to the uh, turtle pie that you saw me do a while back for the uh, the hack like heck contest. This is a fairly similar project, uh, which is the slight differences, uh, fewer buttons, uh, a couple of tweaks here and there. Um, I'm going to be using a different screen. I, on that one, I used one of the the pre-built uh, Adafruit Pi TFT screens. For this one, I'm going to be using this OLED screen, and that's going to need a little bit of jiggery pokery to get working. Uh, so we're going to have to do that. Um, and then, uh, yeah, and then most most of it's going to be pretty much the same. Let's get this thing downloaded. Let's get it uh, onto Etcher, and let's get uh, RetroPie set up. Okay, so we're in RetroPie now. Let me go to configuration. Raspy config. So I'm using the, um, I want to use one of these little tiny screens. So in order to do that, I have to communicate with the Raspberry Pi, or the Raspberry Pi has to communicate with this, uh, over the, um, the spy interface. So I need to actually uh, enable that here, and that's under uh, interface options and spy. Yes, I do want spy interface enabled, and that's enabled, and so now we can finish. And then we'll just shut this guy down. Okay, so we have a Pi Zero, and we have this little gem uh, from Adafruit. Now this actually has a spy interface, that's why we enabled the spy interface on here earlier. So now all we got to do is just match up our uh, pinout uh, to the uh, to the pins that are on here. And of course, element 14 has a handy dandy chart. So we need, we need five volts. Um, so that's uh, pin two, zero six. Uh, round. We're skipping a chip select for the car. It has this built-in um, SD card reader, but I don't need that. I need the chip select for the OLEDs. That's OCS. So 24. Let's see. Reset. Reset can be just about anything. We'll skip that. Data command. That can be anything right now. Clock is pin 23. Okay. Let's see. And then we have, oh, Mozzie. Miso. There's a joke there, and no. Mozzie, Miso. Okay, so Mozzie is 19, and Miso is 21. So that's our pinout for the screen. All right, so we'll get... I need to look. At, there is probably a driver or a device tree overlay that I need to look at to fill these two in, but other than that... Uh, we'll have that. So let's get this thing wired up. Okay, so our screen is wired. Now let's um, let's uh, plug this thing in and let's see if we uh, if we get anything. Okay, so now we're back on the Pi and in the command line interface. So the easy way is to use a little uh, a little script called called Nano Screen, and so that's over on GitHub. So in order to get that going, we need sudo apt get install python pip. This is a Python program. Python, oops, python smbus and python python spydev. Okay, so those are installed. Now we've got to install. Um, this is a Python program, uh, or Python module. It's 
Python module called evdev. Okay, so what evdev does, it, it stands for event device, and, and basically it's kind of a go-between uh, between like a, um, a, a kernel device and then like a character device. So it, it basically translates um, events into um, user space sort of usable um, events, <laughs> for lack of better words. That's essentially what it does. Um, so it's going to handle a lot of the, uh, the, the spy transfers um, uh, handling back and forth with, uh, with nano screen. So it's going to basically handle the communication through spy for nano screen. Okay, and so one more prerequisite before we install nano screen is we need to uh, fix some settings in our config file. And we want to disable the overscan. Uh, if HTML display is not detected and composite is being output. Yeah. Okay, so we want to force the hot plug. Um, one, two, and 87. Okay, and one other thing, one other uh, additional uh, little uh, parameter that we need to put in there is HDMI um, underscore CVT equals 384.256. This is how um, nano screen handles. So it needs a particular resolution to work with, so that's what we're telling it. 384 by 256. Okay. And then now uh, we need to, let's see, cd dot cd uh, sudo linker get repo. Okay, cd get repo. And then get sudo get clone HTTPS. Whoa! There we go. It's because the buttons are really close together. HTTPS colon slash slash github.com slash ada fruit slash ada fruit underscore user space. Underscore pi tft. Okay. CD. Was easy. <laughs> All right, well, that's installed. All right, so that's done. Pseudo reboot. Okay, so we have rebooted the Pi now that Nano Screen is installed. Uh, you can see here that the uh, the resolution has changed. It is much uh, lower resolution now, uh, which will be good because that's super low resolution. But let's see here. We've got uh, pseudo nano. Oh, pseudo nano screen. <laughs> but the, nano, what file am I editing? Pseudo nano screen. Ha <laughs> ha! Got something! Sweet! You can, I mean, you can barely see this. You, you can just barely see that, but it is on the screen and it is working. And uh, as I type, you can see that stuff is being typed on the screen. So now that we know that nano screen is working, we just need to add it to the boot sequence so that it'll just go ahead and run when we start up. So let's go ahead and edit the 
etc. rc.local file. And we're just going to add it right here. User local slash bin slash nano screen. And the ampersand, so it will run in the background. So there, so local, reboot. Aha, looks like it's doing something. Look at that. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> That's so awesome, but it works, it works. Okay, so now that all this is ready, now I just gotta get the sound working and then stuff all this inside the case and we are freaking good to go.